Hello students, in this video we will discuss a question of projections of planes when the plane is inclined to HP and perpendicular to VP, right? So there is a hexagonal plane which is perpendicular to VP and it is inclined to HP. Let us read out the question. A regular hexagonal lamina of H20mm is inclined to HP at 45 degree and is perpendicular to VP. Draw the projections. If the hexagonal lamina is resting on one of its edges on HP, such that two of its edges are perpendicular to VP and the corner nearest to VP is 15 mm away from it. Right, so this is the question. So already we have discussed that if the plane is given inclined to any of the principal planes, in the first step we will assume it parallel to that principal plane right so in this case since it is inclined to hp in the first step we will make it parallel to hp right let us move to the autocad so let us start drawing so the very first step will be i'll be going to polygon command select polygon command Number of sides are 6 because it is a hexagon. Click over here. Go to edge method. I will be turning on the ortho mode. Now, one edge of the polygon, one edge of the hexagon, it is equal to 20 mm. Just click over here. Let us draw that edge equal to 20 mm. So, write 20. Press enter. Right. So this I have drawn by edge method of the polygon command. Select this. Let us increase the line weight. Make it 1 mm. So then it is given that one corner nearest to VP, it is at a distance of 15 mm from VP. So from this corner, I will draw a line of 15 mm vertically upwards, right? And from here, I will draw the xy line. So this is the xy line. Increase the line weight. Make it equal to 0 0.50. After this, let us name all the corners. Let it be equal to A. Let us increase the size. Let it be equal to 5 times New Roman old style. Let us suppose this is equal to A. So control C, control V. This is equal to B. And this is equal to C. D. E. And F. After this. Let us do the dimensioning also. Turn on object snap. This is equal to 20 mm. And one of the corners nearest to VP is at a distance of 15 mm from VP. So this is also given to us. Now 
right. Let us move it towards the left. Now, let us draw projection lines, vertical projection lines, press F8 for ortho mode. These are the projection lines. With the help of these projection lines, I'll get the front view. So front view of this hexagon which is parallel to HP and perpendicular to VP it will be a line right it will be a line so increase the line weight make it equal to 1 mm let us mark point go to point command So we'll mark points on all the visible corners. You can choose multiple point command also. So let us name all the corners. Control V. So this will be equal to B dash A dash this is equal to C dash F dash and this is equal to D dash E dash so why this is equal to D dash E dash because when I will be viewing it from the front D will be visible first and E is behind D. Similar is the case with C dash and F dash. C is visible first and F is behind C. And here also in this case B is visible first and A is behind B. So therefore it will be B dash A dash. So let us use P type command for point style. Let us go to P type command over here. Select any point style. Let us say this is the point style. Select this and press OK. So just see points have been marked. Now this is the case when we have assumed this plane, hexagonal plane to be parallel to HP and perpendicular to VP. So in the next step what I will be doing, I will be copying this thing. Just copy this, go to copy command, take this as the base point and place it over here. Right, so we have placed this. Now we will make it inclined at 45 degree to HP and where one edge of this hexagon it is lying on HP. One edge is lying on HP. So go to rotate command. I'll rotate it at 45 degree. Select this. Press enter. Specify base point. You can turn off ortho. So let us say this is the base point. Click over here. Specify rotation angle. So it is 45 degree. Since it is inclined at 45 degree to HP, so I will write 45 and press enter. Now after this, I have to draw projection lines, vertical projection lines and horizontal projection lines. So let us draw vertical uh, projection lines from this inclined part. like this and then let us draw horizontal projection lines also from these corners of the hexagon 
so projection from A and E will be common similarly projection of B and D will be common and last is projection from C right Now you can see these projection lines are intersecting each other. Okay, so let us match the corresponding points and mark the points. Okay, so like this is the line coming from A and this is the line coming from A dash. So this will be A1. So we will name it afterwards B and B dash. So this will be B1, C and C dash, C1. D1, E1 and F1, right? Let us draw the figure first and then we can write the nomenclature also. So join A with B, B with C, D, E, F and again A. Let us increase the line weight, make it equal to 1 mm. Let us do the nomenclature, control V, turn off object snap. So this will be A1, right? So I will write 1 along with this and select 1 and I select the option of subscript right this is a1 next is b1 this will be b1 so if you are using older versions you might not be having the option of subscript so in that case you know you can just reduce the size of one you can reduce the size you select this and from here you can reduce the size let it be two so you can you know uh, draw or write this one in the subscript so this is 2020 version so in this subscript option is there so i'll use this let us select this copy and paste this will be c1 Then this is D1, this is D1, write D1 over here, this is E1, and this is F1. Right? So why we have named this as A1, B1, C1, D1? So basically the shape of this hexagon has been changed. You can say it has been compressed. Okay. So this, this, this is not the actual shape of a regular hexagon. So it is not a no more a regular hexagon now. Therefore, you know, we have changed the name. So since it is the other figure, okay, it is not the same figure. The figure has been changed to this you know you can say deformed hexagon therefore we have named it as a1 b1 c1 d1 e1 and f1 right so let us do the dimensioning also the dimensioning for this angle was left so this is equal to 45 degree control v let us write X also, capital X, and then this is capital Y, double click to edit this. So if you want to delete or trim the extra projection lines, you can trim those also. So you write TR and press enter twice, once and twice just trim it from here so, trim command is used to 
remove the extra portion of any object extra portion so if it is a single object you will not be able to use trim command so you can select these let us trim and let us delete these lines now right so this is the figure this is the solution to this question right uh, if I just write down at the top so this is the step hexagonal plane assumed parallel to HP right and this is hexagonal plane inclined to H. So in the second step we have drawn it inclined to HP. Right, I suppose this question is clear to you. Thank you very much.